Hi everyone, Peter from Booster Busters here today bringing you another product review. Today we're going to take a look at the Ultra Pro Eclipse uh, binder. Here we have the 2018 pocket page binder uh, holding 360 cards, 9 card page layout. Um, most of you should be familiar with this type of binder. Uh, we've got a uh, apple red binder today. Um, so let's take a look at what we have. I filled this up pretty much, well, well, not to full capacity, but it's quite full of my Theros Beyond Death collection at the moment. Um, so you get the standard kind of rubber elastic uh, hold here. I find it's worked pretty well. Um, it's not too tight, as you can see. It does hold it well, but it doesn't hold it uh, too hard to make any indentations on the cards. Um, you've got kind of a plastic uh, plastic front cover that's a little bit reinforced on the front, um, so that looks good. Um, what matters for me uh, is, uh, you know, usually with these types of binders that are, you know, ring binders that you, you know, fill up with your, your own sheets and pages, I worry about the, the binding here being too close to the actual cards. Uh, and I, you know, I make sure to check that because I don't want the cards that are on um, the very left side here, or if we flip it on the right side, but I don't want the cards close to the binding, uh, you know, curling. Um, and that's not an issue here. There's plenty of space, as you can see, for them to remain straight. If I open it up to another page, again, um, you guys can see uh, lots of room here and here for the cards to stay perfectly straight. So that's very important for me. That's one of the first things I look at. Uh, you know, I don't want uh, the binding to be too tight and kind of curl my cards that are there towards the binding. Um, how easy is it to put in cards, take them out, uh, single sleeve, double sleeved? Can it do it? Yep, no problem at all. Very easy to put cards in. I don't really double sleeve my cards that I binder, uh, that I put in them. That I, can I say, oh, I guess we could say that I binder, that I put in a binder. Uh, normally I just single sleeve the more expensive ones, but as you can see, very easy to, you know, take in, take out, and very easy to put back in nicely there. Same goes for unsleeved. Easy slip. Um, they stay in quite well. As well, I wouldn't recommend, you know, throwing it around. Obviously, it's a binder, so the cards are going to tend to fall out due to this uh, slick backing they have here. Uh, what you can do, though, to help that, uh, if you've got, you know, the patience, you can sleeve all your cards. Um, the sleeved ones uh, tend to stay in a lot better, obviously, since it's a little bit tighter fit. Uh, you can also use like a matte backed sleeve, like, um, you know, to kind of add some more friction and then it helps the cards, uh, stay in, uh, but they stay in quite nicely just for regular, you know, movement, uh, to and from the shelf. Uh, but if you were to keep it in a backpack all day, uh, you know, due to the slick back, you might see some of your cards move around a little bit if they're not, uh, if they're not sleeved. Uh, but again, as you can see, you know, pretty full and is holding the cards quite nicely. Yeah, so again, 360 cards. Let's flip through it. You guys can see, you know, obviously missing a few here and there, but pretty, pretty full indeed. My tokens, my foils in the back. Uh, but quite a lot of room, you know, I usually tend to get one of these uh, For every new set that comes out you know, try to try to one of those silly people that still collects uh, full sets the, uh, the Hard and silly way by just making sure I pull the cards myself and not buying the singles. I know it's a probably a waste of time and money to try to get them all that way but I don't know it's just something I like to do and it just gives me a you know the collector thrill there um, but yeah very good binder 
um, very cheap. You know, they're usually seven to ten dollars, um, which for that price you you cannot go wrong. Um, holds your cards very well. Again, I like uh, the fact all the pages here um, they have a sorry for the shake. They have a hard plastic end here uh, again to protect the cards here, and you'll see that the the cover actually extends a little bit more than the pages. So again, you know, no need to worry there. Uh, overall, cannot go wrong in picking this up. Uh, if you're looking for something to house your collection, um, obviously if you're looking for something for a, a little bit more expensive cards, uh, you'd probably pick out one of the you know, hardback zipper binders or something a little bit more durable. But this is fantastic just for a collection. Again, let me show you the back. The back is the same. Yep, highly, highly recommended. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, I also plan to make a video kind of get getting a few of my binders together, doing a uh, comparison uh, you know, kind of shake them up, toss them around, see which one holds the best. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video like that. Um, and thanks for tuning in. This was the Ultra Pro Eclipse binder. Uh, 360 cards, 8, 20, 18 page uh, pocket pages, 9, nine card layout per page, uh, apple red color. That's it. Thanks.